Hello everyone and welcome to my first video back on this channel. Um, I have already actually filmed this before but I tried to upload it and it wouldn't so I'm going to try to like condense this as much as I can but this is as you can tell by the title a collection video. So I've been collecting for a little over a year now and my original collections were Red Velvet, Sulby and Irene, Twice's Sana and Dion, and Luna's Chu. First up we have my um main A5 binder. Um, and this is just collections that I'm not, like, solidly collecting right now, and I just, like, add to, you know? Um, first up in the front here, we have Billy. Um, at first I was going to be collecting Haram, and then I just kind of, like, am taking a break since TXT's comeback happened. Um, and you'll see that collection in a second, of course. But I did complete her cards for the village. Then here are my, like, other, um, Ginga Minga Yopols and, like, this random Haruna. Um, but yeah, and then we have Stacy. Um, and I tried to collect Shein before, so these are the cards that I have from that. And then, um, starting from, like, here is where it just pulls. I got these pops at a K-pop store, so, yeah. And then we have P1 Harmony, which I just keep my pulls for them. So, yeah, um, this is a K-Town for you, K-Town for you pop. And then these are from the English Do It Like This. Um, and these are the, uh, concert photo cards. Don't ask why I have two of the same one. <laughs> But then we have Espa, which, um, I am, like, trying to, like, as you can see, the fillers here, I am trying to get, um, all her cards for Savage, but, um, they only have six cards, so I don't think I need to put them in, like, my big binder. And I pulled this Winter, so I'll just keep her there. Then we have Purple Kiss, and I was originally collecting GN, but I decided to stop, and then Swan became my second buy, so I got her cards, um, up until Zombie. I don't really plan to collect Mim, um, but I still need this one Swan. So we have my little G Idol section, these are just pulls. Next we have my Twice binder, and for Twice I do collect um, Dion, but this is my <laughs> Momo cover. Um, yeah, so this is my little divider thing, it's not very good. But um, here are the early, earlier eras, the story begins, we'll go here, page 2, Twice goes to lane 1, lane 2, lane 2 will go here, or the other lane 2 will go here, and then we have like 3 of the signal cards, a filler in the middle, signal, and then twice to gram. And then because it doesn't fit conventionally um, to just have like three cards on one page, I decided to do my top three for Merry and Happy. Then we have What is Love. And then I'm also not doing any um, OT9 sets before Feel Special right now. So there's Summer Nights, Yes or Yes, Fancy, which needs a lot of work, Feel Special. And here is the one of the OT9s and the other one. Then more and more as I'd open my OT9 for that. Then for Taste of Love and Formula of Love, I decided to do my top three, so there's the top three page. Then for my two OT9s, I'm doing the In Love set and the uh, Taste Drink version. Then we have my first top three page for Formula of Love. My second one, and for my second one, um, I wanted to do two OT9s for this era, so what I decided to do was do a lucky draw here in the middle, um, since there would otherwise be like three blank spots and I just want the pages to be filled and then I used to collect OT9 so here are some cards that I um, kept from doing that um, these two are monographs actually I got them in uh, Rakuma sets and then just some that's a blank page um, just some more like random things next we have my TXT binder and for TXT I do collect OT5 um, blue hour onwards so here's the start of that um, the set's complete. I just need Subin for this. Wait, R, A, R, V, R, which needs help. We have Freeze. Just need two more cards for this one. Then Fighter Escape. Just need that one Yanjun card. And then these jewel cases, which are a pain. But yeah, here's Fighter Escape. And I have started buying cards for this on Neokyo, so it's a bit empty now. And then we have the Target versions. I don't know if I'm going to continue to do this OT5 because I don't want to buy them off of Instagram since they're not available on Ricard Japan or Rakuma. Um, and then I also decided to do the Linties. So Bongyu is my bias and I decided to just do like a little um, something for Chaotic Wonderland. Yanjun is my second bias and I pulled this in um, um, the album. So that's my little Chaotic Wonderland section. I don't really plan to back collect their Japanese releases. Then we have like a small little um, non-album thing. This is a Fighter Escape um, MTU Lucky Draw and then Lazada. And then this is the Bomb June unit from the third hour photo book. Kai's Season's Greetings and Taehyung's Deco, um, deco Kit card. 
um, I don't really like plan to trade these because they're kind of hard to, but yeah. And then I did set up for all the um, Thursday style of pops. Some of them I may not be able to get, but I set up for them at least. Then we have my like bigger things page, and as you can see, there's only one thing on it. This is just the um, Moa Buy Together hoodie photo card. I don't know why I bought this. I don't even have sleeves for these kinds of cards, so yeah. This is the photo card set from the third hour photo book. The selfie set from the deco kit. Uh, selfie Polaroid set. Units. The colorful one. Um, and then... I, I might take those stickers out because I don't really like storing non-random things. But those are my R version um, postcard pull. Wait. Yes. Um, AR postcard. Freeze world version. The fighter escape uh, AR cards. And then stickers, which again, I might take out of here. Um, fighter escape fight version and escape version postcard and this is where i gave up on bigger inclusions because as you can see taeyeon is here five version standy escape version and these are just the things from the deco kit they don't really fit in eight pockets so i had to put them in here awkwardly but here are the film strips units and then my uh thursday child postcard pulls and now we've come to the main binder so um here's my like little luna cover thing at the front here um, I used to have this organized by like alts in the front and then like other groups in the back, but I'm now doing it like by priority. And I also printed out these pictures to put on the front of the dividers. So first up we have Dayong from WJSN. And for now I'm just doing a natural onwards. Um, I just have one card for that. And then for Humph, I did um, decide to do a full nine pocket of cards for her. So we have like uh, the Starship Square like heart card and then the other Starship Square and K-Town for you units and then the album cards and then for super yuppers this era is actually done i bought two more pobs um from instagram but i don't know if they got lost or something but um otherwise this would be a nine pocket but if those don't arrive then i'll just keep it as a seven um but the, her other album card and um her trading card like this is on the way so we have the soundwave pop apple music album album k town for you and yeah then we have a uh, random unit um these are my pulls from the album and i have another unit on the way i can put there then we come to ive and for ive i was originally collecting one young but um i didn't think i was going to be able to have like a thorough one young collection just because of her prices so what i decided to do instead because um liso and gao's cards on mercari japan or yeah on mercari japan and rakuma are pretty cheap i decided to do my top three which as as you can see is gao one young and liso so yeah um, ignore that these say pop, but, um, here are the, like, 11 cards, um, I don't have any calls yet, but, um, for, um, Love Dive, what I decided to do was do version 3 here, the version 1 here, the jewel cases one, since they match this concept here, and then we have the version 2 cards right here with the blue outfits, and then the concept Starship Square, Starship Square pop, and then the, like, pointing one down here. Next up, we have Enhypen, and for Enhypen, I do collect Sonu. I used to collect my top three, but now I'm just doing that for the um, Dimension era, so I just need two more cards for um, day one. The Cursed Sonu doll one for Carnival. Then this selfie page is complete for Dilemma. I just need this Jung Wan for the Hollows. And then here is Dimension Answer, and I decided to collect the Target Pobs and the Reverse Japan pre-order since there's just four album cards. So yeah, just missing three cards for that era. Then we have my little non-album section. This is an album card technically, but I'm not collecting the essential versions because they're a pain. So um, this is the Dilemma Weverse Global. And then these are from the Little Wishes, the cardigan and the shirt, I think it was. I don't know which one's which, but yeah, this is the 2022 Seasons Greetings. This is the Weverse Glo Global, I think, from Answer. Then this is from the Pieces of Memories DVD thing. Um... Yeah, and then we have some like random miscellaneous cards and these two are from when I collected my top three and I just bought this one. Next up, we have a new collection and that is Lily from InMix. I was originally going to do Heiwan because um, I don't really have a, like a solid bias for InMix and I looked on Mercari Japan and her prices are not that great. And I thought Lily would be the most expensive because I feel like she's the most popular, but her cards are really cheap on there. And since I don't have a solid bias, I decided to collect her instead. But if I were to do my top three, I think it would be Lily, Heiwan, and either Kyujin or Bay, which I might do in the future. I don't know. Um, but 
these blank spots are cards that I have on the way, so I did buy the blind package version, version of the album, so I just need to trade those cards for her equivalents. We have the light version cards, and then I have four pobs on the way. Next up, we have Luna, and um, for Luna, I do do my top three from Midnight onwards, which is Yojin, Chu, and Olivia. So here's Midnight version A, version B, version C, and this is the only card that I'm missing for this era. If you have it, please trade with me. Um, the D version, A version, this, card's, this card is a pain, so I just printed a picture of it, and I'm pretending this page is done. B version, C version, again, the only card that I'm missing for this era, technically, I guess. And then the D version, and then I don't, like, have a bias in the Not Friends girls, but I decided to do this OT4. So here is that. This card is my absolute favorite. Anyways. Um, here's the other page. I decided to put them in eight pockets just because of the number of cards. And Jin Soul loves doing horizontal cards as well as Eve, apparently. <laughs> and then we have Hula Hoop. And I'm debating just downsizing this. Um, or, like, not collecting it at all. I'm just not as motivated to work on it that much. But we'll see what happens. And then we have a little miscellaneous um, pop section. I don't know where this is from. This is from Midnight Era. This is um, and Make Star and MMT. And then this is and with Jama Round 3. And then these are the Lunaverse trading cards. And this is just a filler. <laughs> and then next we have ATs. And I still need to print something out for them. But I have like no motivation to work on this collection right now. So that's why I didn't print a picture out, I mean. Um, but I'm just doing like part two onwards. So here's part two. Um, I also collected Yuno know, for part three. Um, I had no motivation to find this last card, so I pulled this in my whatever the heck this album is called and just put it there, which works fine. And then we have part three. I'm collecting Son, as you can see. I keep forgetting to like say who I'm collecting, but I guess if you know the group, you can see. Um, here's Epilogue, and then just miscellaneous like pops, and that's the group card that comes in that one album that I still do not know the name of. And then this is one card from part one. This is the New York travel package for the tour then we have red velvet and for red velvet like i said earlier i was originally collecting solgi and irene and i did manage to finish um solgi's finale cards then here's just like miscellaneous cards that i have um this is the spot for a card i have on the way um this is summer magic this might be fake these are monster this is joy's hello ah, queendom blank spot queendom queendom smcu SMCU Red Velvet version are those three, and then this is the SM Town, and then this is uh, Fill My Rhythm and Fill My Rhythm. So next we can go into Itzy. My OG plan for Itzy was to do OT5, and then I just didn't do that, but I did manage to complete Guess Who, so here are those four pages. And then after that, it's just kind of miscellaneous cards. Um, I have three cards on the way, so that's that. Um, as you can probably see, Eurigen, Yuna, and Cheryoung are my biases. Um, these are two pops. I don't know where they're from. This um, is a with drama for Crazy in Love. And then these are the December No Bad Days. And then we have Kepler. And I put this Cheyun on, Chae on picture on the front, even though I'm not collecting her because I just thought it was really pretty. Um, but for Kepler, I am collecting Hikaru. And I was originally doing OT9. Then I just did my top two, which is Hie and Hikaru. But um, I just decided to do her. So here are her six album cards, um, MK Media, her M-Wave sign pop, um, card, and this is Shouting's MK Media, I just thought it was really pretty, so I bought it. <laughs> and then lastly for this binder, we have Cravity, which is kind of an inactive collection. I finished, um, Young Jun's and Song Min's cards, who are my top two biases for, um, The Awakening. And then here are some pops and units and stuff, because I bought, like, a big Song Min set on, um, Mercari Japan. And then some of their older cards, which... I don't know what I'm going to do with them, honestly. Then here in the back we have, um, like, page things for collections that I might expand in the future. So Stacy, Espa, P1 Harmony. And that is it for this video. I hope this is not longer than 10 minutes. So, thanks for watching and bye.